welcome back to the vlog. I'm at Giant Supermarket, which is within Botany Square shopping centre in the city of Bogor, which is the city that I was born in and I grew up in. And today, I'm going to try four different fried chickens from four different joints. So far, I've got already a takeaway from from KFC and Burger King. That's what. That's right. You heard me right. Burger King have fried chicken. Right now we are at Giant and apparently they also do fried chicken. So we're gonna do a test of every different fried chicken that's available in this place. I just love fried chicken and there are different types here in Indonesia and I just have to try it. So let's go get a couple more from Giant. So now we've got the chicken from Giant and also from AW. There it is. Now the reason why we're doing a takeaway and also we're going to take it home is because it's a bit loud here. You probably can hear a lot of background noise. It's better at home where it's quieter and my sister might be joining in the tests of the flavors of these fried chickens. So four different fried chickens from four different places from KFC. AW Giant Fried Chicken and Burger King and see which one is the better one and also there's a surprise for the KFC one so keep watching if you want to find out on a side note I find this quite interesting would you have a go at trying this guy waffle fish tender with egg I think it's part of the breakfast menu check it out hmm So we are home and ready to try out four different fried chickens from the four different restaurants. So I've got KFC, got one from Giant Fried Chicken, got one from Awe or AW, and one from Burger King. In terms of price, the giant fried chicken is actually the cheapest. It was only 18,000 rupiah, so probably about $1.80 for two pieces of chicken. So for each of them, I got two pieces. So we're gonna go from the cheapest to the most expensive. So we'll start with the giant fried chicken and see what it tastes like. So let's give the giant chicken a go. It comes with chili sauce, which is typical to Indonesia. Everything comes with a sauce. It's chili and tomato. So if you want to use it, but I'm going to try plain for every single one of them, except for the last one, for KFC. There's a surprise. Let's give it a try. So the skin is crispy and there is a nice flavor to it. It's just a very typical fried chicken. It's just a very typical fried chicken flavor. Salty and with some hints of herbs and spice, but not the same one as the KFC one that I've tasted back in Australia. Considering it, being the, one of the cheapest, actually the cheapest for today. It's not bad. So the next one up, we're gonna go for the Burger King. For two pieces of chicken, it was 36,000 rupiah. So about $3.60 for two pieces of chicken. 
from Burger King. And that's right, the equivalent of Burger King is Hungry Jack's and there is no chicken available at Hungry Jack's. But here in Indonesia, everybody loves fried chicken, so fried chicken is available from Burger King. So let's give this one a go. So here's a Burger King. Appearance wise, obviously, just like any fried chicken so far, it's the same. This is the breast piece. In terms of the skin, flavor that comes from the skin of the chicken. I have to say that the giant fried chicken has a little bit more flavor and taste to it. But when it comes to the meat, you can still taste it, you can still taste the saltiness um, and the spices of it. And I really can't tell the difference to be honest, but I can tell the difference from the bite of the skin. So. That's the difference at the moment. The meat is definitely tasty, you can taste it. You can definitely taste it, so it's not dry and flavorless. The breast piece is actually quite moist, still quite moist, and you can still taste the flavor. Burger King chicken, again, I have to say it's quite hard to tell actually it's quite similar but the skin a little bit different giant is winning at the moment so let's move on to the next one a W okay so this is the AW chicken AW is an American based company it says here all American food or an Indonesian restaurant has America but I wonder if it's actually genuine because as you would have seen in previous shot I showed you some weird breakfast that they do like a waffle with fish and an egg I don't think American people like that so I don't think it's genuinely American anymore it's been mixed in with Indonesian flavors you know Indonesian people just like to mix stuff in and, and this is the next expensive one just a little bit more than the Burger King it was 39000 for two pieces of chicken, so it's about $3.90 Australian dollars. Hmm, a little bit different I can tell already. It's their basic one. Golden Aroma Chicken is just their basic one. It does smell good, better than the other two. There is a distinct aroma to it. So what about the taste? Hmm. And up. <laughs> it's good. It's definitely different. And this is winning in terms of flavor all around so far. The AW chicken. Skin is crispy, full of flavor. The meat is nice, tender, and moist, full of flavor, and it has a distinct taste, flavors to it. The spices you can definitely taste, maybe a little bit more salty and peppery compared to the other two, and maybe all the other spices as well that they included. But it is winning so far. AW chicken. Impressive. I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> I'm liking this one a lot. I'm also finding that the skin is not as thick. It's just the right consistency, the right amount, so it's not too much skin or the flour bits that's been cooked. It's just the right amount of coatings to make it crispy and full of flavor. So, it is a good fried chicken. Well done, AW. Good work. 
but how do you compete with KFC? Mm. Alright, let's give it a go. In terms of the coating and the colour, the KFC chicken looks a lot more like the Burger King and the giant fried chicken. However, when it comes to the taste, let's find out. Oh, okay. This is just the normal chicken of the KFC. And there is a hint of spice to it. What I mean by, what I mean by spice is actually the spiciness, like the chili spice of it. The chicken is moist, the skin is crunchy, and unlike Burger King and Giant, also the coating is just enough. You can also taste all the other flavors, um, all the other spices, the saltiness, the pepperiness, um, that makes KFC to be well known for. Um, but I still think though, this KFC from Indonesia is not the same as the one in Australia. If you've been to Indonesia and live somewhere else, anywhere in the world where there's KFC, write down in the comments below on what you think the flavor difference are. If there is any, if you think there's any flavor differences between the one in your country and the one in Indonesia, because I think there is between this one and the one in Australia. See this spice? I don't know if you can tell, but that is not found in any other chicken that we tasted today. So underneath the skin, you can tell that there's like a layer of spices, like as if a spice mix or been rubbed onto the meat before then it's coated with the flour and fried. So that adds the spiciness and the flavor to the chicken. It's quite moist. This is the thigh by the way, so it is meant to be moist and it is delicious. KFC, you're still good. Are you winning? Are you winning the day? How do you reckon the cho chick's gonna go? I'm gonna go get him now. Well, talking about KFC, the surprise that I'm going to give you with KFC. Well, at the moment, they have a special promotion. Special promotion, that's right, they call it cho chick chocolate chicken so because I've ordered because it's takeaway so here's the chocolate sauce right this is the chocolate sauce that they've put in and I'm going to drizzle it over one of the chicken of the other chicken so to taste and see what all this fuss is about the chocolate chicken are you ready because this is going to be disgusting for some of you viewers chocolate on fried chicken on spicy fried chicken what are you for real but it's on the menu there's the KFC chicken and this is the chocolate sauce right let's do it okay the chocolate sauce is stuck I will need a spoon actually now that I have the spoon I want to taste the chocolate sauce by itself here it is the chocolate sauce by itself, not on the chicken. <laughs> oh, okay. Imagine this. Imagine this. Imagine your chocolate sundae sauce. Chocolate sundae sauce, right? With chili powder stirred in it so the spiciness is there it's very spicy and but the chocolate is like the chocolate that you get from chocolate sundae imagine that okay so this is the moment of truth i'm going to scoop the chocolate sauce and put it on the chicken that's right you're seeing this you're seeing this right now I think that's enough. It's not pretty, but 
let's give it a go anyway. <sighs> the moment of truth. I will just bite into it. Okay, I'll just bite into this spicy chocolate sauce on this spicy KFC chicken. I'm nervous. <sighs> <laughs> I'm actually scared. Okay, let's do it. I don't know why it's on the menu. I don't know what to say. It just makes the chicken sweet at the start. The chocolate flavor dominates at the very beginning and as you bite through it and then it's just spicy the saltiness of the chicken doesn't come through at all because it got dominated by the chocolate flavor and to be honest I don't think it works yeah I don't know why I don't know who does the taste testing for KFC Indonesia whoever came up with this idea you are a radical person you're crazy Where'd you get the idea from? I tasted the chochi, guys. The chocolate, spicy chocolate coated chicken from KFC in Indonesia. I've accomplished something. Okay, you ready for this? To me, the one that makes me go, mmm, the most on the initial bite would have to be. AW Golden Aroma Chicken You got it You did well today You did well today KFC I'm sorry Sorry about that AW In Indonesia This Golden Spicy No The Golden Aroma Chicken You got it If you enjoyed the video Make sure you click like Make sure you share it and make sure you subscribe and I'll definitely see you again next time. That's right, I'll see you next time.